Hello everyone, today we are going to implement a small application with the package webview and we start here with an empty application. I have created here a webview widget which we first of all set here to our build method in the main file and import it. And now we go to this widget and first of all we need to implement here a scaffold and we give it a body and if we hot reload it we have a white background here. The first thing we want to include is the bottom navigation bar, which we use to go from one page to another page. So we go here to our scaffold and here we have the property bottom navigation bar and also bottom navigation bar. And here we have to supply the items we want to have in our bottom bar and I go here with web pages and I am imported here and we go through all of our web pages which I have stored in a data model where we have a title and also the URL to which site this title belongs. And for each web page we want to create a bottom navigation bar item. And here we have an icon which we can supply. I will go here with icon school and also the title which is just the text with the web page and then the title. And after our mapping here, we want to transform it to a list. And if we hot reload it, it looks like this. Before it can work here, we need to add another property here, which is called current index. So we add this index here to our state. So we created here another variable. The next thing what we do is to transform this here to a stateful widget. And we also want to initialize our state. So we set our current page index to zero. Another thing we want to add to our bottom navigation bar is the on tap function here. And we will just write here on tap and create another method. This index says on which item we tap here. So for example, zero is here, one, two. Every time we tap here on another tab, it doesn't work because we have to update this variable because right now it is only zero. So it will always stay at this tab here. So what we do here is that we update our current page index with the new index which we tapped on and we also need to set the state here to update our state and we will just put it here inside and after hot restart we can actually change our navigations here. These tabs are therefore that we can later navigate between the different websites like Flutter.io for Flutter or pubdartlang.org for dart packages and the GitHub page for the Flutter plugins. So the next thing what we want to do is we want to add the web view. Therefore we go to pub.lang.org and type in here web view Flutter into the search. And then we go to the installing section and we copy this dependency here. Then we go to our pub spec jumbo file of our project here and add this here to our dependencies. And we also need to get the packages here and restart our application. Then we go back to our project, to our web view widget. And here we can add our web view. And we also need to import it here. So we go back to our website. And here below we find in the installing section this importment statement, which we copy and also put it here on the top. And the web view has different properties. So first of all, we can set here the JavaScript mode. So we will allow JavaScript. And then we need to add this property on web view created. So we need to add here a controller. And so we just go here at the top and add this controller. And we also need to import the Dart async library. And for our web view, we have also another property, which is called initial URL. Here we need to set our URL and we will get this from our current page index. So what we will do here, we will convert this here to a block body and then get our web page, which is our object here with the title and URL, which we get from our data here. And we ask for the current page index, which is currently at zero, but it can also be one or two if we tap on this different buttons here. And we just say current page URL then. And after the hot reload of our app here, we see our web page of Flutter.io, which is the first web page here. And we cannot actually change here the web pages because we only change the navigation here. So that's what we need to fix. 
and here with this current page index which we just updated we get this current page which is our web object here and to actually change our web page we need to go to our controller and here we have a future and here we just say to our controller that we want to load the URL and we want to load the URL of our current page. Let's start our app again. And now we see we have here this Flutter page and we can also change between the other sites. Another thing we want to do is we want to wrap our web view here into a widget which is called Safe Area. And if you hot reload it, we have our website after our navigation bar. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.